to our weather. We've had a good stretch, haven't we? Nice run, huh? We have. Keep it going? Well, we'll have a little blip. <laughs> Let's go over to Lonnie for that. <laughs> Lonnie? Yeah, I do think it's not going to be as nice tomorrow. We'll go downhill as you push toward Thursday morning. But you're right, guys. It's been a couple of great-looking days around here. Here's your current picture outside. Uh, look, the only thing we dealt with today that is definitely worthwhile talking about, we had an air quality alert. It included all five boroughs of the city, places north and off to the west as well. But now we're seeing a lot of them peel away and expire, and more will be expiring as we go through the next hour or two. And for tomorrow, the air quality is going to be, boy, it's borderline. Healthy is in this green shaded area. We're going to be at a 60. Today, we were a 151. Last year, on the 7th of June, with all that Canadian smoke in the air, we were a 484. All right, it's about the highest number I've ever seen reported in our area. Here's what's, well, try that one again. Take two, we're live. Here's what it looks like outside as we speak. And again, a couple of thin clouds out there. Not really seeing the rain yet. A Little bit of moisture in the atmosphere, you bet you, but the big picture will show you where it's at. It's off to our west. This will make a push into our area. Here's how it plays out. So yeah, when you leave tomorrow, I would say have the umbrella with you. I just don't see a lot of rain for the morning hours. I think it's more so late. So this is what we're talking about in the morning. A lot of this, especially along the coastal areas, this is fog, all right? And there could be a couple of drops of rain out there. This is not a real rainmaker in the morning hours. That's 8.30. You're going to even watch some of that fog stick around a little bit later than we anticipated. But by, say, 11 a.m., it's off. And now, look at that. Some clearing in spots out there, but the front is still off to our west. That will be moving in, like I said, later. And by the time you get to, say, 6, 7, 8 o'clock at night, a couple of leading showers, maybe even a storm, makes their way into the area. But it's just that. I mean, take a look. It's very isolated. It's not as isolated as you get into the late night hours, into the overnight, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, somewhere during that time frame, the line of rain comes in. This is the most recent data that's now coming in, and it's putting it right on top of the city in the heart of the rush hour. This is 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, so that does have an effect. And then by the time you get to 11 a.m., it's basically finished. It's nipping at the east end with some scattered showers that are still out there. Rainfall totals anywhere from a half an inch to possibly an inch and a half. But those inch and a halves are kind of sparse right now. I'm going to keep an eye on all that for you. Here are your numbers. 78 degrees for your day on Wednesday. Yeah, there's the rain chance. It's primarily late. Heaviest during the overnight hours into early Wednesday morning commute time, and then it gets drier for the second half of Thursday. And then you're just kind of unsettled with those pesky rain chances, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, Monday even, you know, 10, 20, 30 percent here or there. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest storms I think we'll see will be while you're sleeping uh, late or early Thursday, Thursday morning. Thursday, yeah, early definitely. Thursday morning. Okay. All right. Thanks, Lonnie. Okay, Thank guys. You.